I'm gonna be doing something stupid today. Well, not stupid, that would be hypocritical of me. But a bit mildly stupid. <laughs> I was playing with my hair uh, yesterday and I was just like, mm, this hair is so boring. I really haven't done anything like exciting to it in a month and a half and it's just really bland, it's really boring. And I was just like, I would look so good with bangs. Freaking hot. Actually impressive, right? I encouraged myself to do it. I've done actually quite a few fringe cutting videos recently. It's always been on wigs, however, but I really like the way it, it looks, right? And recently I was just watching my old videos and I was just like, I really, I really should give them a go. You can actually encourage and motivate yourself to do something on yourself. That's pretty badass. I think that's pretty badass. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna cut a fringe on myself. Yay! So today I'm gonna be cutting a fringe on myself. I get so many comments from people because they get really pissed because I never cut a fringe on myself. Well, I'm doing it today, you know? So I was just thinking that if I really do kind of like a super curtainy bang moment on myself, very wispy, but like kind of present then yeah that's kind of the look i'm going for definitely not heavy definitely longer um but that's uh, basically what i'm going to be doing today first things first gotta put on a cape you put on a cape to protect your clothes and your sanity demon hair hair from the devil next up take off our fuzzy slippers because hair falls to the ground and we don't want our nice cute little slippers to be full of <clears throat> hair. Tiny, tiny bit nervous, but why would I be nervous when I watched all of my videos from Stella Chini? It's really funny. <laughs> I'm being such a hypocrite today. As I said, I'm going for kind of curtain bangs. I feel it's too little. I'm gonna start with this section. It's kind of a very panned out section. It's a very small amount of hair, so I didn't go too far into it. The more you go into it, the denser it will be and the thicker it's going to look. Next up, put all your remainder hair away. So for this, I'm actually going to follow the same technique as my previous hair cutting video. I'm going to cut off the very beginning portion and then kind of use that to kind of form the, I don't know. I don't know, I really don't know. I'm a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Let's start super long. So yeah, it's still very long, but we're gonna kind of work with it. Not there yet. Do we need more? We need more. Let's grab more hair. Purple silver hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
What do you do for a living, Stella? Oh, you know, I'm an artist. I'm an interior designer and digital marketing. Hi, baby, I'm banged up. I'm all banged up, baby. And like that, we went from boring to fun, exotic, foreign. Basically, anyone with bangs to me is foreign. I look more put together, honestly, though. Before, my purple hair was just a bit like, Casual. Now I look like I run my own firm. That was it. That was the video. I revamped Stella. Stella is now a bit more fashionable. Her hair is a bit more framed to her face. This is a very hard look to maintain. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I restyled like seven times. Screw it. I feel good. I feel good. Maybe I don't look good, but I feel, I definitely feel good. That was it, guys. That was the entire video. I feel so happy. Oh my God. I like it. It softens my face. I think I look like less of a <clears throat> bitch. I, I look a bit more approachable now, I think. Hi, baby. Hi. And it's going to be an interesting time, I think. And I'm going to look cute, at least. For a little while until it grows up and then i have to keep trimming it but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you'll give it a go and i will see you in my next video